is it the family? Words are made of letter people, A, B, C, D, follow me. The letter people, today, meet Mr. P. <laughs> got pointy, pointy patches on my pointy patch of pants. I've got pointy, pointy patches plain to see. Sewn up with polka dotted stitches, pointy patches on my breeches. I'm as rich as any that matches patched up me. Mr. P. <laughs> Sounds like good old down-home week. Right nice tune there, partner. Howdy. You new around these here parts? That's right, partner. P's the name. Mr. P. Well, real nice to meet you, Mr. P. My name is Mr. T. I reckon that from reading your teeth. Please this punch to meet you. Some teeth you got. Yep. These are my tall teeth. That's where I get my sound, you know, from the same sound that starts tall teeth. That's powerful sound you have, Mr. T. I've got my own special sound, too. My sound is the same sound that starts pointy patch. Yeah, looky here, will you? You really do have pointy patches. Terrific. Yep, I'm plumb proud of my pointy patches, and I think my sound is perfect. But I'm real sad, because one of my very favorite things has been stolen. Well, tell me about it. Maybe I can do something to help out, old buddy. Well, I was on a cattle drive. I had the job of cook on the chuck wagon. There I was, messing with some old pots and pans, fixing up a batch of peanut butter prunes when I was taken by surprise by two of the most terrifying outlaws, the purple peekaboo palookas. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! <laughs> peekaboo! Oh, no. Oh, yes! We're the purple peekaboo palookas at your service. Poison Pete here. Uh, no! Howdy, fellers, and a hearty peekaboo to you, too. Uh, now, what can I do for you today? Hand over stuff that starts with the same sound that starts pointy patches, or you'll hear some peekaboo that will knock the points off of your patches. Oh, please, uh, anything but that. Uh, okay, uh, well, let, let's see. Um, I've got some pots and pans, a piece of purple paper, a pennant for the pirates, and, um... Uh, yeah, uh, starts with the same sound that starts pointy patches. Well, let me see what I got here in the old chuck wagon. Um, uh -huh, now, uh, just what you need. Now, how about this, fellers? Just what you've always wanted, a pickle, a perfect pickle. It's a dilly. It'll make your lips pucker. Pickle, pickle, pointy patches. Pickle, oh, yes! Pickle starts with the same sound that starts pointy patches. And they taste good, too. Well, I, I certainly am pleased to punch that I could help you fellers out. Uh, so long, buckaroos, and, and have a peachy day. Oh! Do you think we're going to settle for one puny pickle? What else you got there that starts with the same sound that starts pointy patches? Well, no. No more food in the old chuck wagon that starts with the same sound that starts pointy patches. So sorry. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll have a look on that wagon myself. Oh, holy peekaboo. Pudnose, this guy's been holding out on us. 
That's not nice, Mr. P. A person could get seriously peekabooed for that. Look what he's got here. A pizza. A pizza? I knew this peekaboo bit would pay off someday. Pizza. Pizza. Pointy patches. Pizza, yes. Pizza starts with the same sound that starts pointy patches. That's clearly here before the pepperoni on the pizza putrefies. Purple peekaboo and the wind. Oh. So that's why I feel sad. I miss my pickle, but I'm really lonesome for my pizza. Pizza is my very favorite thing in the whole wide world. Golly, that's about the saddest story I ever heard of. That's a terrible thing those palookas did, making off with your pizza. I'd give anything to get my pizza back. Terrific. I've got an idea. Why don't we go after the purple peekaboo palookas? We'll bring them more food that starts with the same sound that starts pointy patches and see if they'll trade us for that pizza. That's a powerful good idea, Mr. T. We'd better hurry, though. I'll bet those palookas are fixing to polish off my pizza. Let's go. Wasn't there something about how we got this pretty pizza, Pug Nose? You betcha, Pete! <laughs> Oh, hey, look at those pretty clouds in the sky. Wow, shazam! That cloud looks like a pea. It makes the same sound as starts pointy patches. Yeah, that doesn't look like a pea. Look at that cloud over there. Now that looks like a pea. Come on, you know better than that. Does that cloud over there look like a pea? See it? Yes, I see it, and I'm telling you, you're wrong. My Both of you palookas are right. That cloud is a capital P, and your cloud pinky is a lowercase p, but they both make the same sound that starts pointy patches. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, hey, what are you two doing here? We've come to offer you palookas a deal. I really want my pizza back. And we're prepared to give you some more food if you'll trade for the pizza. That's right. We'll give you two foods that start with the same sound that starts pointy patches if we can have the pizza. What do you think, Pete? I don't know. What have you boys got to offer? Well, for starters, how about this jar of peanuts? What do you think we are? A couple of dummies? Yeah. Peanuts doesn't start with the same sound that starts pointy patches. Hold on there, pug nose. We better sound it out. Peanuts, do Pointy patches. Peanuts. Pointy patches. Yes, peanuts start with the same sound that starts pointy patches. Okay, what else did you bring? What else have we got, Mr. T? Terrific. You palookas will like this. A tantalizing tomato. That's right, nice. That tomato. Wait a minute. Tomato. Tomato. Pointy patches. No, I don't hear it. Tomato does not start with the same sound that starts pointy patches. No. Hey, these purple peekaboo palookas are pretty tough to trick. Just one more thing and I'll get my pizza back. Okay, palookas, you'll be plum tickled about this one. It's a purple plum. It'll go nicely with your costumes. And listen, plum, plum, pointy patches. Plum starts with the same sound that starts pointy patches. He's right, the same starting that's two things now. Pleasure doing business with you. May I please have my pizza back now? <laughs> Did you guys really think we were going to give you back your pizza? <laughs> Hardy -oh! <laughs> How about that, Pug Nose? Now, we've got a pickle, peanuts, a plum, and a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, you purple peekaboo palookas win. Let's go, Mr. P. But I didn't get my pizza back. Don't worry, I've got another idea. You'll get your pizza back or I haven't got tall teeth. I must be getting my pizza back because you've got the tallest teeth I've ever seen. What's the plan? We'll trick the palookas with a word, a sound catch. You don't know about that yet, Mr. P, but that's okay. 
I'll tell you all about it on the way over to get Miss A and Mr. N. Miss A and Mr. N? What can they do to help? You'll see. Hmm, let's hurry. It won't be very long before those palookas polish off the pizza. Uh, we'll need some stuff to make clue boxes, and we'll have to get some nails and hammers. Okay. Now, it's important that no one makes a sound unless they're in a clue box. We don't want to come up with the wrong word with a pizza at stake. Everybody ready? Yes, yes ready. ready. Good. Oh, purple peekaboo palookas, come on over here. We've really got a word for you. I thought I told you folks to clear on out of here. You are not going to get the pizza back. In fact, we were just getting ready to put the pretty thing away. Oh, we've forgotten all about the pizza. We were just wondering if you palookas would like to play the catching game with us. The catching game? Hey, yeah, I've seen that on TV. Pete, let's play. Okay, Nito, let's play. What do we have to do? First, tell me who is in the catching clue box. Easy enough. That's Miss A. Her sound is the same sound that starts at you. Terrific. Now, tell me who is in the starting clue box. <laughs> Good for you, pug Nose Pinky. Now, who is in the ending clue box? The little person in the ending clue box is our pizza buddy, Mr. P. <laughs> <laughs> His sound is the same sound that starts pointy patches. Good for you, Petey. Now, both of you take a good look and tell me what word the letter people will make when they make their sounds catch. The word is... Nap. That's what I think, too. The word is nap. Okay. Now the letter people will make their sounds catch. Go ahead and let's see if the palookas are right. Nap. Oh, do it again. That was terrific. Nap. Now, can either of you two fellers tell me what that word means? Nap. Oh, nap. I used to know. Do you know what it means, Puggy? Nap. Um, I don't know what it means either, but do you want to know something? When I say that word, I get sleepy. <gasps> nap! Oh, nap. Oh, I'm sure it does make me sleepy. Oh, I think I'll catch a little shut eye. Me too. Um, nice game, folks, but I guess we're both too tired to play anymore. <gasps> Good night. Happy, Happy peekaboo to, to the both, both of you. you. These sound catches are great. Too bad they didn't stay awake long enough to hear the story of Peeper Park. This story has lots of words that start with the same sound that starts pointy patches. Let's take the pizza to the rest of the letter people. We'll have a pizza party and I'll tell the story. <laughs> There was a place called Peeper Park, where people loved parades. They dragged big pails of pale pink punch and pulled the floats they made. Plump Polly played the piccolo and piped out marching tunes. Peter packed a picnic lunch of pickles, peas, and prunes. The people packed the streets to watch the great parade go by. Pigs played catch with porcupines, and pandas ate peach pie. The purple panther, they called Pimp, rode on a prancing pony. He played piano while he ate a slice of provolone. The big parade pleased everyone. It lasted until dark. By then, the people all were pooped oh. in Pleasant Peeper Park. Follow me.